Good morning, everyone, depending where you are in the world. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your very first time, welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. I'm so glad you found me. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. This is the Heroine Tarot by Gina. Oh my goodness, her name. Hold on a second. It's Shia Pakazi, I believe it is. Um, Shia Pakazi, if I mispronounce that, I am so sorry. But this is what I got in the package, this beautiful, beautiful postcard. And it is a thank you card. Thank, hi, Bonnie, thanks so much for your order. Hope you enjoy the deck and happy reading, Gina. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I am going to take this out of the plastic and I will be right back. Okay, so we've got the deck out and um, right off the bat, I will tell you this is a glossy cardstock, but it's not sticky and it's not super thick. These are the beautiful black and white backs. So let's see, is this reversible? Not entirely. There's difference in the bottom lip right here. Oh yes, and also, so not not really reversible, but that's okay. I don't really read with reversals anyway. But the deck is etched in silver, and it is a large deck, as you can tell. There's my hand. Okay, let's look at this female-centric fashion -y deck. So right off the bat, I'm getting, this fool is beautiful. Uh, her braids flying in the hair reminds me of Dorothy, Anne of Green Gables, Alice in Wonderland, ready to embark upon an adventure in a beautiful dress. And this looks to be watercolor art. Look at that magician. So this, yes, RWS clone. You've got all her tools, uh, very couture looking with her hair and outfit. Look at the um, high priestess. So we're getting some diversity in race. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of diversity in age and body type, but you kind of know that with high fashion, you don't get those things. So if you just accept it, you know, knowing, going in, um, you know, you can't expect those things in this type of a deck. The Empress, I love her little clear umbrella here. Oh, I love this Emperor. I'm getting 80s vibes. Um, that supermodel back in the 80s and 90s. She looks a lot like a Linda Evangelista to me with her angular features, and this is something that uh, they would have put her in. The Hierophant, this is a Hierophant I can work with. Ooh. Very modern lovers here. Love that the there's panthers here for the chariot. Oh, this is a gorgeous strength card, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. This hermit, it looks like she can just lose herself in her outfit. <laughs> she just could crawl into it and shut herself off from the world. I do like the kind of tongue in cheek with the um, Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, swimsuit fashion here. A very fierce Lady Justice. The Hanged Woman. I love the yellows and the amber colors in the tree. Ooh, look at the death card. This is fantastic. 
What is this that she's sitting on? It looks like a large cicada. Wow. Okay, this temperance card with what she's wearing reminds me of something that some of the the, the humanoid figures um, depicted in the um, Dreaming Way Tarot and the Efflorescent Tarot. Yeah, very much so. Fabulous Devil. So it looks like a lot of these are up close and personal and not scenic. Traditional Tower. If you're a beginner and the RWS is not resonating with you, you could totally learn to read on a deck like this. Something a little more fun would make, you know, maybe the it can be to some drudgery of learning the cards. If you have some fun imagery that resonates with you, it will help in the learning. The star, it's a beautiful star. Oh my gosh, and look at this moon. I'm digging the art, you guys. So, and this was the postcard that I got, the sun. This is a really pretty judgment card with the dove. Very beautiful. The world. And she's she's clothed. Clothed. Really cool. Wow. Look at this fierce ace of swords. I like it. The Two of Swords. Traditional RWS. So you could, if you're a beginner watching this, you could totally learn on this. You see here, you've got um, the traditional Three of Swords in the RWS deck, but you've got extra. The Four of Swords. could be a very much look at the five. Oh, a little bit different depiction here of the five a little bit more cutthroat here <laughs> and the six of swords um, she's not in a traditional boat or ship but you do have water behind her I guess the veil could be um, a ship's sail. She does have tears or running mascara running down her face here. Um, and that could be indication of moving away from something and going on to smoother waters. The Seven of Swords is very feisty. Eight of Swords. Now she looks like she's got more of a proactive spirit to her, though you don't know if these swords are tacked into her voluminous dress here. So she may have to struggle a little bit to get out. The Nine of Swords. And the Ten. I'm so happy that this deck, you know, it's fashiony, it's fun. I can see it appealing to fashionistas and those who are younger would very much resonate with a deck like this. Page of Swords. I do kind of like, you know, all of the Morgan Greer and the painted tarot more recently, the close up vantage points. Um, I love faces. Queen of Swords, yes. Very much has that Queen of Swords energy. And look at the King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. And the 
three of pentacles. You definitely have that feeling of cooperation. Four of pentacles. This is a traditional pose for the four of pentacles. The five of pentacles. Now this is different. There's no church, no stained glass, but she's falling. And it looks like she's falling into oblivion. And, and when you're in a five of pentacles situation, it can't feel like that. So I like this. Ooh. The six of pentacles. The fashion in this deck is very fun. The seven of pentacles. Yes, very, very young. Um, this is a fantasy world, as you know, the world of high fashion is. The Nine of Pentacles. So she's not really in a garden. No bird. But her, probably her abundance is depicted by the color and her, the voluminous nature of her dress. She's able to afford this couture fashion, so. <laughs> oh, and look at this. This is a very sweet Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. I love the mountains behind her. Look at this king. I used to have pants like that. And I do. I'm a fan of chunky turtleneck sweaters. Ace of Cups. She's got a Kardashian look about her. Or a Jenner. Kendall, Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner. I can't tell them apart. Look at that Two of Cups. Three of Cups. The Four of Cups. So she's holding the extra cup. It's not really being offered to her. Interesting. The Five of Cups. This is a high fashion morning garb. That's a very sweet Six of Cups. Ooh. Seven of Cups. So you don't really have the choices, you know, popping out of the cups as traditional, but yeah, you can get the meaning of it. Eight of cups. There's no cups in the depiction and you don't really get that feeling of walking away. You do have kind of a nighttime depiction that the RWS has, but, you know, it's just a kind of a pose. But I have other decks that, you know, you, it leaves more room, I guess, open for interpretation. And the Nine of Cups here. She's in a wistful stance, you know, the Nine of Cups, traditionally the wish card, if you want to pare it down and simplify it. So I think her, her gaze, her wistfulness kind of indicates that. She's got all the cups on her head as a crown. It's cute. The Ten of Cups. Okay, she's got her hand out and she's beckoning. So not a traditional, like, family scene with the Ten of Cups. Let's 
a page of cups. She got the little fish in the cup right there. The Knight of Cups. Ooh, I love this Queen of Cups. She's really pretty. And our King of Cups. Look at the fish necklace right there. It's fun. The Ace of Wands. I love these aces. I love the close-up um, view of the aces and the faces. Look at her tattoos. And the tattoos in her fingers, all very modern. Two of Wands. And she's got her globe here, so it is a throw to the RWS here. Very fun. A traditional Three of Wands. Not really, but I think you can get the meaning from it. I was thinking three of cups at first, and I was like, no, this is wands. I'm really digging this coat. <laughs> I do have a plaid coat, but it's not like that. Four of wands. I think I have a sewing pattern for a dress like that. The Five of Wands. The Six of Wands. And so instead of wearing the wreath on her head, uh, she's got it around her neck. She's got a Diana Ross vibes going on her. I think she's totally... Cool, beautiful. Seven of Wands. I love this cloak she's wearing. You do get diversity. Look at the, the facial features. You do get that in this deck. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. A traditional stance, but in high fashion. Very fashion forward. The Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. You get the fire energy with the color palette and her wardrobe. The Queen of Wands. They're familiar. The sunflower. I love the color palette here. And the King of Wands. Looks like Molly Ringwald in Pretty in Pink in that era when she was doing the John Hughes movies. Doesn't that look like Molly Ringwald to you? It does to me. For fun, we're gonna see how this looks laid out together. Um, large cards, large cards, hard for me to shuffle. But that would be no surprise. I didn't know that these cards were gonna be so large. Did not know that. I thought they were going to be regular tarot size, but um, would it have stopped me from buying it? I don't know. I don't know, but it does. Um, I have other decks that kind of scratch this niche. So right off the bat, um, I don't know how much I'm going to reach for it. I think this is a fun, non-threatening deck, though. I'm going to move that. So, someday, if 
I'm reading in a group setting. I think this would be a wonderful deck to read for. Like say, if you are a professional reader and you're going to do a bridal shower, let's say, or a birthday party, um, this would be fantastic. It, it is a great deck for somebody young, somebody who appreciates fans, uh, fashion and whimsy to read with. Um, you can learn to read with this deck. You absolutely could. You know, I would have it, you know, side by side with the RWS while you're learning. That's what I did, how I, I used the Dream Cooper's Tarot with all its intricacies in that deck. And I had that and learned side by side with a traditional RWS Pixies Art, you know, uh, deck. Let me know in the comments if you are finding any value to this video. Um, was this deck on your radar? Let me know. And if you're finding any value, consider hitting a like, a subscribe, um, comment below. It helps this very small channel grow and keep going. But yeah, let me know what you think. What's your thoughts? thoughts are for my regulars. Um, was this on your radar? Do you have this deck? Is it something you might reach for? Something you like? Or you're just kind of thinking, eh, I'll pass. Or you have other decks that kind of fill this niche. Let me know what those are. Because I'm going to show you in just a second what other decks I have that fill this niche. Okay, we're gonna put this one in the middle. I'm gonna put this one on one side. <laughs> and I do have a deck that's larger than this. We're gonna put this one over here. So this is my efflorescent tarot. And this is my um, simplicity tarot. So you can see cardstock, it's very similar. This one is not edged, the efflorescent tarot. But some of the fashion did remind me of, of this. And then kind of the half colored with lots of white space reminded me of this deck, the Simplicity Tarot. If you can see, we'll just do a few pulls. This is kind of maybe a mashup. if you can kind of get my gist. So let me know if you have these two decks, would you have gone and splurged for this one? I'm really loving the backs. I do love the imagery, but truth be told, I don't know how much use it's gonna get because I already use these two quite a bit. And you know what? There's a third deck, Ethany's Bad Bitches Tarot, that could be thrown into this mix too, if you want fashion, because that deck is very fashionable. So in comparing all of these and having the Bad Bitches Tarot in mind, do you think you would add this to your collection? I think it's very fun. Um, the question is, how much am I going to reach for it? If I were doing professional readings, wedding, shower, um, you know, bachelorette party, I would totally see, I would, this, this or bad bitches would be like the first either or deck that I would, I would pull. Totally no question. If you are young and trying to learn the tarot, absolutely, I could see, you know, going with this deck. If you just love fashion, absolutely. But do you see what I mean? Kind of similar aesthetic. I don't know what pushed me over the edge for this deck. It's just Danny Mystic made me do it and I'm going to blame her. 
So let me move these two out of the way since you got a glimpse and you know what I'm talking about. Um, I really love my the readings I get from the other two decks that I showed you and also my Bad Bitches Tarot by Ethany. So I'm go it's going to be interesting to see how I reach for this. Um, would I go to this over one of the others? I'm going to have to set some time apart, you know, whether it's a week or two weeks to see how this deck reads for me. But I'm getting good vibes from it. I think it has a place. So this has been my walkthrough of the Heroin Tarot by Gina Shia Picazzi. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, yeah, all those questions I asked throughout the video. Do you have it? Have you worked with it? Um, looking at my other two decks that I have, do you think it has a place in my collection? Um, if you are somebody younger and interested in fashion, is this totally up your alley? And would you, um, uh, if you can, run to it and start learning on this deck? Uh, would it replace something you already have? And if you are more mature and a little more seasoned like me, do you think a deck like this has a place in your collection? Also, if you read professionally, how do you think this deck would read? And do you think you would bring it to a bridal shower, um, a pub, a readings um, in a public setting? Is it a good deck for you to use with maybe people who are a little more hesitant with tarot? So that is it. I will leave you for now and I will be back with another video very soon. Thanks for watching.